What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, back again with another trailer reaction review. A show where we take a trailer, watch it, you see my reaction, I give you a review on the trailer itself. Today is my first show back after the move into this brand new studio. If you know, it's a totally new space. So don't mind me if I'm looking around, making sure everything is running correctly, making sure the sound is working, or making sure the video is just like everything. I'm, I'm gonna be looking around on this one. This is like the test dummy show before we could get cracking through everything that I wanna do. Um, so let me know in the comment section below if anything I need to change, anything looks weird the couch in the background obviously is going to be part of the set for future stuff i'm going to do in the future so don't mind that right now again let me know in the comment section below anything that you want to see in this space that you want me to check out if my audio is fine let me know that as well does everything look crisp in the camera um the lights as well let me know if there's any discrepancy let's chat it up in the comments but let's move into what we actually here for and that is the marvel studios black widow official teaser trailer now i've been in this whole moving stage and i had no idea this was coming out today and when it did i was like the fuck black widow getting a movie now i kind of knew this was happening because we knew that they were gonna do a black widow movie or at least that was like a rumor However, I wasn't deep diving into it. I didn't know that we were gonna get one next year. Like I thought there was gonna be something like deep in the plans like that weren't gonna get revealed or that wasn't cooking. I didn't know that this was gonna happen and happen so soon. And my God, we got a fucking two minute trailer to dive into. And yes, I can't wait. Let's go, let's do this. Like what up, man? Like, whoo, end game spoilers. Like, whoo, that's my girl, man, it's her. Hard, it might be hard to see this, but let's dive in. Let's jump on and let's check out the Black Widow first official teaser trailer. They call it a teaser trailer, but you know how Marvel do. They call it a teaser trailer, but damn well, this should be a full damn trailer. Let's go. Scarlett Johansson inside the new Black Widow movie. I'm starting the trailer. Three, two, one, click. I still living. Homie. His family. Okay. Gangsters. But nothing lasts forever. Bendy though, nope. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Like, whoo. I heard you had to leave in a hurry. It's never easy these days. So this is a... So what are you going to do? Origin story or... But I'm done running from Or just past. like a chapter in her, in her, you know, long history of shit. I know you're out there. I know you know I'm out here. So we're gonna talk like grown-ups? Mm. Is that what we are? Ooh, who's that? A gangster? Yep. Let's go. Okay. Ooh, got our ankle stuck. Good to see you too, sis. What okay. Home? Okay. Okay, on teams. There's sisters. Let's go. Unfinished business. Let's go. We have to go back to where it all started. Look at us. Stormtrooper outfit. One thing's for sure. It's gonna be what? a hell of a What? What? My nigga first turns the team. Let's go. Still fits. Family. Oh, and that shorty Big from together. um. The mummy. You got fat. <laughs> what is this red? Uh, excuse me. What is this red? Fucking Captain Murphy. May 2020. Not yet rated. Oh my fucking god. Okay. All right. <laughs> that was weird, exciting, cool. Left me with tons of fucking questions. Of course, because God knows. We all know. We all know. 
<laughs> so, um, obviously, with what happened in Endgame, and unfortunately, how they can't go back in time and do this movie before Endgame. So, this is going to be a prequel. This is going to be something that happens leading up to those stories, which is pretty cool. Marvel has a ton of stories to, you know, glue in between what happened in Endgame and still tie back to that shit and then make it, make us fucking connect to it this could be a standalone fall we know and not connect to that shit but the way they did the flashbacks and showed her history like she's still gonna have those memories she's still gonna be you know part of that universe leads me to believe that again yeah this is just gonna be you know a branch of the main big arc tree that is avengers storyline but i am curious about where this branch falls under like what movie is before what this movie is after this and the the more i don't know is the more excited i am I mean, you know what i'm saying it's the more possibilities of you know a cameo from somebody maybe or even a reference that uh bring a villain in or something like that which could be totally dope and exciting. And again, there's a whole brand new cast of people that we haven't seen before in a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. And correct me if I'm wrong, if one of them are from a past movie that I'm just not remembering, but it's pretty dope. And it's pretty dope to see some great actors join the fucking cast. Some great returning ones being, you know, um, I forgot this guy's name, the guy that plays the sergeant that always was in like the Hulk movies and shit like that. I look like he's there pretty young as well son from fucking stranger things still in the show in the fucking trailer i got i'm i'm hype i'm hype i'm hype i'm hype as a trailer though i mean it's a teaser trip so that's what it's doing it's teasing us on what's actually going on i can't wait to get more information to kind of pinpoint a bad guy because that's the only thing that i'm kind of confused i don't know what's going on <laughs> it was just like a whole bunch of cool looking shots introducing characters and i think when you are packaging a teaser trailer that is important to do where the movie is going to be as far as where in the world is going to be as f and then as well introducing characters to build upon the story when you start releasing plot points in other trailers. It, it gave me so many questions, which I am excited for. We know where the story ends, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's kind of hard to be super like, oh, in this movie, you know, she's gonna be going through a tons of shit, but she's not gonna die, is she? Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I still feel like that. I feel like, well, they're not gonna kill her in the movie. There's not gonna be a suspense full scene where she's gonna have a gun to her head and I'm like she's gonna make it out you know what I'm saying so I feel like that is taking away from it a little bit and may hurt the movie to be honest but I think fans are gonna stick it out and actually want to see her story throughout to the end because of the fact that we know what happens to her and it was just so a heartbreaking scene in the Endgame movie that we do I you do feel like you lost somebody and you want to check out their story prior to that loss and that's exactly what this what this movie feels like it's gonna bring and again adding the cast of brand new fresh faces is wonderful something to do especially with black widow leading scarlett johansson leading that cast i think it's gonna be incredible i can't wait to see it it doesn't look like anything that i was expecting from a black widow movie i was expecting to see her you know in a training school and by by all means this could be that movie but i thought it was just gonna be an origin story of her as a child learning the craft of kicking ass and stuff like that it looks like they're just jumping into like a fucking dope ass comic book story of black widow which is great because i'm fucking oblivious to all of them i have never read a black widow story so again roast me in the comments talk to me in the comments tell me what the fuck is going on if i'm missing something i know sun with the arrows look dope but is that just hawkeye in the fucking thing i don't know so let's talk about it in the comments as far as that score Score-wise, let's give it a score. I think I'm going to have to lean more on the... This is kind of difficult. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. And the reason why I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, because it's a good trailer. It's a good teaser trailer to set up everything about in the story. It's just missing that one thing. And I don't know if that one thing is like a definitive bad guy. Maybe there is a bad guy that I just don't know in this trailer, but I just feel like I don't know what she's searching for. I don't know 
what is the the big thing glooming about to end the world not that this movie needs it but it just feels like there's nothing telling me what is her goal what is she going after in this little bit of a teaser trailer now and that, that to me is very fucking important that's like you know Sp spider-man dropping a fucking teaser and not showing the bad guy. Now, granted, I don't know shit about Black Widow as far as the, the canon. I don't know if her sister is a fucking bad guy. I don't know if this guy with the red suit that looks like Iron Man is a fucking bad guy. This guy with the fucking crossbow is a bad guy. I don't know. So, my thing is, is that because of my lack of knowledge, I'm probably going to grade it a 4 out of 5. And granted, it's a 4 out of 5. That's a fucking good score for a trailer. I, I graded worse on trailers. But, again, I just feel like I wish there was more here to captivate and to, 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 to make me want to be like, yo, call up the wife and be like, yo, we got to see Black Widow. You know what I'm saying? This is like, huh? I'll wait for the next trailer to show my wife. You know what I'm saying? And that that that's that's the thing. Like, I, I, I love being excited for movies. That's why I do this. That's why I do trailer reaction reviews. I love being excited. This is like, yes, we're getting it. What the fuck are we getting? And uh, let, let, let's leave it right there. Let's not talk um, too much about it. Because, again, it is a teaser trailer. And I am going to be excited to be real. I'm probably going to watch this shit day one in the theaters. Because I'm fucking such a Marvel Cinematic Universe fanboy that I'm going to. Let me know in the comment section below what you would score the trailer. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So, let's chat it up down there. Let me know what your thoughts on the whole Black Widow do you think this shit deserves a fucking movie and your thoughts of it again being a prequel you know and it kind of filling in the gaps but at the end of the day we all know what's gonna happen so it's like it's not like that can happen in this movie which is kind of like it takes away from like that like if they do have a scene in the movie again i keep bringing it up where like they put a gun to her head you know she's not gonna die you know what i'm saying because she doesn't die here so just with that, let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments, so we can chat it up down there. If this is your first time watching a trailer reaction review or any content on this channel, hit the subscribe button. I do videos like this daily as far as doing content on video games like Pokemon or, or whatever the case may be. I also do trailer reaction reviews. Best believe when the Game Awards drop, I'm going to be doing my live reaction to that right here on the channel. So you do want to be subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Hit that like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video over into recommended so other people can check out the video. And again, that does help me out extremely a lot. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next trailer reaction review. And also, let me know about the space. How do you like it? You like the new studio space? I got a lot of fixing up to do. I got to fix that couch. But let me know. Peace. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. And you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.